My Life and Work by Henry Ford was written in 1922. Continually refine your thinking power. Imagine something the world would really need. Make it cheaply as possible and sell it at the lowest price. Goodwill is one of the few really important assets of life. A determined mind can win almost anything that he goes after. But unless in his getting he gains goodwill, he has not profited much. He saw fear as the result of dependence on other people and circumstances. And in every area of his life, from the avoidance of debt to the work ethic, that he held sacred. Ford was an expression of what Emerson called self-reliance. Described by his mother as a born mechanic, the greatest moment in Ford's childhood was seeing a road engine, a steam vehicle used to haul farm machinery. It was the first vehicle he had seen not pulled by the horses. Always tinkering by age 15, he could almost any watch and seriously considered become a watch manufacturer. But the idea of the horseless carriage was too great and without the support of his father, Ford began to build one in the workshop he had constructed on the family farm. In his 20s, he was inspired by a brief meeting with the inventor Thomas Edison, despite virtually everyone at the time saying that electricity was the future, Edison told him to stick at his engine. While many believe that the car's low price would bring the firm's collapse, Ford himself expected the market to spend dramatically. It did. He started building the largest factory in the world, Highland Park, and production capacity leaped from 6,000 to 35,000 cars, while the number of staff merely doubled. By the early 1920s, the company employed 50,000 people and was turning out 4,000 cars a day. In 1921 alone, 5 million cars were produced. By the end of the decade, 15 million Model T's would run off the assembly line. This was the miracle mass production. It did not hire experts because they usually only knew what could not be done. Ford preferred fools who would rush in to tackle problems with an open mind. Ford believed that the sale of a car was merely the beginning of a relationship with a buyer. He built his cars to last but also made sure that parts were transferable across models, cheap and easy to install. This ideal of service might have seemed crazy to other manufacturers, but the trust it built upon among the public was priceless. Business were not cash cows. They should offer something that made lives better, and if they achieved this, good returns would naturally flow. A major figure of the 20th century, Ford combined two traits often seen in the super successful person, an original far-reaching vision that carries with it the potential to change the world and an obsessive attention in detail that can drive people mad. Ford's dark side include spying on managers and belief in conspiracy theories about Jewish banker taking over America. He has also been ridiculed for the famous saying that history is bunk. This was his shorthand for the belief that education should not be about remembering facts but about teaching people how to think better. The main message is refining your ability to think should be your investment priority. It always provides the best returns.